Good morning. We are at Nori Park. Jeff and the kids are way over there and I am just over here wandering around looking for mushrooms and pine cones and acorns and pretty little things to take some yarn photos with. We're gonna go under a tree. <laughs> I have been finding lots of Portini mushrooms. <laughs> I'm sorry for the camera. I am not good at this at all. I've been finding lots of porcini mushrooms and stuff like that. So that's really super cool. But they've all been super tiny. Super, super tiny. Our weather keeps going back and forth between a tunnel, like today, overcast rainy, cool, and then it gets super sunny, super bright, no rain, nothing for long, long strips of time. So it feels almost impossible to find good, healthy mushrooms when I'm out and about, though I keep looking, I keep insisting on looking. I am mostly just interested in education and discovery. I haven't eaten anything that I've foraged aside from apples and the such. I haven't had any of the local mushrooms. I've just collected the puffball, threw them around, pre-gamed for next year, and I just keep looking for more. I guess that's the fun, the thrill of the foraging hunt. So it is about 50 degrees here. It's quite breezy. There's gusts. It's windy. It's lovely. I love it. <laughs> I do need a hat. I was so happy I ran in and grabbed this. This is my Metamorphosis colorway. Um, the design is by Cameo Yarns. This is the White Horse by Caitlin Hunter with fuzzies and all kinds of stuff stuck to it. But yeah, I'm just enjoying myself. This weather would not be happening. In Florida at all. I would be miserable, still very hot. Um, maybe just starting to go out in the evenings to hang out in like a screened in space. And yeah, even the grass here is different. Just it's it's soft and lovely and it's it's home. It's home. I didn't know I was missing this home, but it's home. There's Jeff and Winston. <laughs> Winston and I are now buried inside of the woods. We've been walking for quite a while, looking, taking in, listening, figuring out this trail a little bit better. I have been spending as much time as possible every day outside. I'm trying to go for a walk every day, get some fresh air. And it is really making me very happy. I was very limited in that before in Florida because it was just so hot. I, I tried to hike as much as I could and I feel like that actually ended up hindering me because I became quite sensitive to the heat because I kept overheating myself so much just trying to do the things that I liked to do. So it is a relief to be wearing a sweater and a hat and comfortably walking around outside. So this bowl of slop is chili mac. I made some homemade chili and some homemade mac and cheese and then you birth it all together. And this is glorious, it's so good. So we are back from the park. I am in the throes of work. I have been dyeing yarn all day long base color, boogie-less man, speckles of boogie-less man, and I'm about to start doing a few batches of cauldron, which is a gray with a black speckle. It's really, really super pretty. I'm really, really excited to be dyeing it, and I'm going to be doing a few batches tonight. Everything should be rinsed and dried and listed tomorrow that I'll be dying today that'll be extra. Not everything is going to be making it into the shop because a lot of it is pre-orders. A lot of my work recently is just pre-orders and pre-orders and pre-orders and then throwing in a little bit of extra. This weekend I will be working on Sailor Moon yarns. 
Next week, I want to dye yarn for possibly, I think I want to try to go live this coming Wednesday evening and see how that goes. I'm thinking a Q&A and just to uh, see how it is. I have not gone live yet, so this will be my first experience doing that and I want to kind of get a feel for it. So nothing too, too complicated, right? So I am going to get back to work. I will be dying for, I don't know, hours and hours and hours more. That's kind of just how it is. I set an alarm, get up and come and fiddle diddle and do what I have to do and set an alarm and do what I have to do all day. And yeah, I'm hoping to have a little bit of a nice little teensy tiny shop update this week. I will be having a little alpaca and silk. I see pink moon maple i did some halcyon but i'm not finished rinsing that one i may set that one again it is such a dark dark deep blue and um i still have to like i said i'm gonna try to rinse that again i slept on my shoulder funny of course um <laughs> So I haven't been able to physically do as much as I would like to do this week. I haven't been able to uh, lift and it is physical. Dyeing yarn is very physical. Anyone who dyes yarn will say it's very physical. So um, some of the movements, especially because I'm short, I have to really pull my arms up over my head and stuff to lift yarns out. So it gets a little difficult, but we're managing. Jeff is helping me a lot. He's doing a lot of the heavy lifting and rinsing and moving things around for me. And I am just focusing on the dying aspect. But I'm going to get back to work. I have lots and lots and lots to do, so I need to do it. I will see you again in a couple of days. I haven't been knitting very much, but I am probably going to do a little sit down and chitter chatter with you about what I've been doing throughout the last few weeks and a little catch up. But until then, I will see you later. Bye.